Hi, I'm Richard Musio, founder of Move Your Feet Before You Eat Foundation and associate producer of the premiere of this evening, the movie Stickability. I'm here with Jim Amos, who is in the Franchise Hall of Fame. Jim, tell us, how do you get to be in the Franchise Hall of Fame? I think you have to be able to fool a lot of people for a long time. You know, look, I, uh, I, look I, it's a blessing to be there. I've had 30 years in franchising. I had a company right here in La Jolla called Mailboxes, etc. Sold that to UPS uh, in 2001 and continued to invest. And ended up as chairman of the International Franchise Association and was blessed to have my peers vote me into the Hall of Fame. And I'm thankful for it. Yeah, I'm a CPA by training. I actually have an outsourced accounting company in Mumbai, India that does nothing but accounting for franchises, owners who own multiple locations. So I am a huge advocate of franchising as being a business model. And there's a couple of really good reasons why. I think the most important is the tremendous success rate. Can you comment on that? Well, sure. I think that uh, at the heart of franchising is a predictable uh, a track that people can walk on. They're in business uh, uh, interdependently for themselves, but they have help. They don't have to reinvent the wheel. And so the reality is franchising generates about uh, uh, 2.3 trillion dollars in our economy and it's larger than any other two economic sectors combined so that just reflects on what uh, the power of business format franchising. I know most people think of franchising as being fast food or fast food restaurants but I know there's many many other opportunities. What are some of the very um, good opportunities right now besides fast food? Look there's over 300 industries that use the what I call the elegant uh, engine of business format franchising to thrive. So everything from service industries, from, from uh, uh, dog poop pickup services to million dollar hotels uh, uses that same model to grow their businesses. It's a very po powerful, very powerful economic engine. And what are you hoping to get out of watching the premiere of Stickability this evening in lovely La Jolla? Look, I'll tell you, uh, I, think that th I think the thing that thrills me the most about what Greg is doing, about the Napoleon Hill Foundation, Secret Knock, is that once again, we're finding a forum where free markets, free people, and free enterprise can be celebrated. And being a purveyor of hope has a positive impact. So for me, it's, it's, it's about attempting to regain the heritage of our entire country and our culture back. It's where the heart of the entrepreneur is, which are these individual franchisees that have more courage and are the heroes of our economy, and where every net job in America has come from since 1985. So it's a powerful thing. And I promise to be politically correct this evening, so I'm not going to ask you what you thought of the recent government stalemate. Anyway, very much appreciate your attendance this evening. Hope you have a great time here at the premiere of Stickability. Uh, uh, thanks a lot. And only because you've decided not to be politically correct, uh, I'll agree. Otherwise, I'd pontificate. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Uh,